Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the money supply, M2. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel in the description below. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Let's get to a quarter million subscribers. So we often talk about the price of Bitcoin, and we don't really denominate it in many things other than its USD valuation, okay? Or we don't sort of shift it in any way. What if we took into account the money supply? We know that the governments are, are printing money, but let's take a look at M2, checkable deposits and more. So, so where are we in M2? This is the chart of M2. And I, I kept our, our bull market support band on there just to show that we we're basically just generally increasing right above it. Obviously this has, is essentially meaningless, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and remove it. But if you look at this chart, what do you notice? A fairly systematic move up, nothing to get out of bed for. This is 2005, 2008, 2012, nothing too crazy. We get into 2016, same thing. It's just the same thing, right? The money supply steadily increases. And then you get to 2020 and look what happens. It just shoots up. And in the matter of about a year, it's gone up by approximately 25%. If we were to do some level of dubious extrapolation here to get an idea of how long it would have taken to get to this money supply, it probably would have taken us until the beginning of 2024. So another three months, theoretically speaking, for, the, for us to have this money supply. You can see how quickly things have accelerated. So what if instead of just looking at the price of Bitcoin, we looked at the price of Bitcoin divided by the money supply? We've actually looked at this before when Bitcoin crossed the prior all-time high, so this is not the first time looking at it. Let's take this into consideration. How much has the price of Bitcoin divided by the money supply gone up compared to just when you look at the price of Bitcoin, not dividing it by anything? Well, we know that for the price of Bitcoin, as measured from the, from the prior top, we're, we went up approximately 3x, okay? Because our prior all-time high was $20,000, almost $20,000. We just went to 61K, a little over 61K, in fact. That puts us at around a 211% appreciation in Bitcoin USD. Okay, approximately 3x. Where is Bitcoin divided by the money supply, though? Because we also know that when you know there's more money circulating, maybe there's theoretically more people buying Bitcoin, more people are putting money into Bitcoin than otherwise would be. Let's measure that. Huh only about a 120% difference. So the price of Bitcoin from prior top to our current top was approximately a 3x. We could even say slightly more than a 3x, let's say 3.1. However, this one over here is, is not even close to a 3x. Right? In fact, it's closer to a 2x at 120% than it is a 3x. So we can see that the, the money supply is actually substantially affecting um, you know, this chart, right? I mean, it, the, the money supply has, has gone up so much in such a quick period of time that in terms of measuring the prior, from the prior all-time high, we're only up about 2x given the fact, given where the money supply is, okay? We're only up about 2x. So yeah, even with the increased money supply, the valuation of Bitcoin has gone up, but if you account for the money supply, it's only gone up a little over 2x as opposed to 3x, a little more than 3x, if you don't take into account the money supply. Now, I just think this is a useful chart. I think it's interesting to think about the BLX divided by M2, taking these other things into consideration. Obviously, the general narrative, we just put out a video on the dollar. If a lot of people expect the dollar to lose value because of all the money printing, so if it does lose value, then that'll be good for Bitcoin. But if it does what people don't expect, which a lot of times the markets do, and it goes up, then that probably would not be for good for Bitcoin if this is a sustained move back to the upside. We'll keep an eye on, on all of these charts. We'll wanna see how things play out, what happens to the money supply, or it, you know, if the money just keeps rolling in, what, will, what contribution will that have towards the dollar valuation, DXY, and how will that affect Bitcoin? If you guys wanna follow along and be part of this journey for the market cycle, definitely subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. 
check out the altcoin season sale. You can also find a link to that in the description below as well. You'll get access to the weekly reports and videos, the Telegram Alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the Risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app, the premium only live streams and more. Make sure you guys check it out. Subscribe before the prices go up. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye.